Hi, Heidi Heron here. Today I'm going to share with you some information about the imposter syndrome. Have you ever felt that you're just not good enough or that somebody's going to find out that you're not good enough or you're making mistakes or there's this, this need to be perfect so they don't find out? Over the past few years, a new type of phenomenon or, or label at least has come into our awareness and that is of the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is where you think that you're going to get found out or a person thinks they're going to get found out like they're not good enough. I often see this in people who are like put into leadership roles in their workplace but they don't feel that they've quite earned it or they've somehow been put into a position of leadership or power or management but they're not quite sure they don't have that belief in them themselves. From an NLP perspective, it's quite an interesting thing because when the external world is not aligning with our internal beliefs, we have a discrepancy or an incongruence. And utilizing some of our NLP skills, we can start to clear that inter interference and align the beliefs, change the beliefs and align with what we want to believe and really come to a sense of alignment within who we are and what we're doing so that we believe that we not only have the skills and attitudes and attributes, but we can be the type of person that we need to be in that role. It's exhausting for the people that I work with that have this or display this, this trait of that imposter syndrome, it is exhausting. It is accompanied with anxiety, sometimes depression, fear of being found out, and just a general sense of not being good enough. And to go through life, if that's in your workplace or your home or just everywhere in life, can you even imagine how, many, how much energy it takes to hold that space? Now, I can't just walk in and say, well, you have the job, you deserve it. And that changes the whole pattern because these are unconscious beliefs. That aspect of I'm not good enough, I'm gonna be found out. And so when we're applying some of our NLP tools like parts integration and integrating anchors and unconscious pattern change and re-imprinting and neurological levels alignment, that gives us more ability to work with the unconscious mind to start to make a change, to align the perceptions that we have of ourselves with the perceptions that other people have of us. Even something like perceptual positions exercise is a great tool to try on being able to see ourselves from our own point of view someone else's point of view and that fly on the wall perspective from up there in the trees looking down upon ourselves and with a variety of tools we have the ability to completely eradicate that old pattern so that the belief in oneself is as robust as the belief that other people have in us that imposter syndrome, if I could eradicate it for most people in the world, I absolutely would. And all people, there's nobody that I would leave with it. But again, choice is better than no choice. And we have a choice about the emotions, the behaviors, thoughts, and actions that we have. And with NLP, we can really take charge and be in control of our lives, of our minds, and our outcomes. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to the video like this one. Subscribe to the channel and like this video and I'll see you in a couple weeks.